This is question 8 from paper 1 of the 2015 SQA Curriculum for Excellence Maths exam. We're given a diagram of a rectangle, length and breadth x and x minus 2. We're told the area is less than 15 and we have to determine the range of possible values for x. So first of all, the area will be equal to length times breadth. which is x times x minus 2. So the statement that the area is less than 15 square centimetres will be translated as area less than 15 square centimetres becomes x times x minus 2 is less than 15. So let's multiply this out, x squared minus 2x, there's x times x minus x times 2, is less than 15. And we're, we can now identify this as a quadratic inequation. So let's subtract 15 from both sides. And there we have a quadratic inequation. So we're interested in now in the possible values that x can take so that x squared minus 2x minus 15 has a negative value, is less than 0. So our concern will be what do the values of x squared minus 2x minus 15 look, look like? In other words, if we have y equals x squared minus 2x minus 15, when can y be negative? What values can x take so that y is negative? Let's look at the graph of this. It's a quadratic graph, and we know if, if x squared's got a positive term, it's, it's that way up, and if x squared has a negative, uh, is a negative term, we've got a negative coefficient in front of x, it's upside down, if you like. Concave upwards, concave downwards. Normal way up, upside down. So it's a quadratic and it's the normal way up, concave upwards. Now the way to find what this, where this graph is placed, we know it's shapes like that, where is this graph placed in relation to the x and y axis and so on? Let's factorise it, if possible. First terms would be x times x. 15 has factors 3 and 5, 3 fives. Let's look at the outside two terms. That would give us 5x. The inside two terms would give us 3x. But we're trying to get a minus 2x. So take away 5x, add 3x, would give us a minus 2x. So the negative term is the 5 minus 5x, that's the outside two, and positive for the 3. The inside two terms give us plus 3x. And we check the last. Positive 3 times negative 5 does give us minus 15. So there's the factorization of this. So if we're drawing the graph, what we now know is where that graph crosses, sorry, that's x, crosses the y-axis, crosses the x-axis, sorry. When is y equal to 0? When are the heights in this graph equal to 0? It's when this expression, x plus 3 times x minus 5 equals 0. That happens when x is minus 3 or when x is 5. So minus 3 and 5. Negative 3 and 5 are the two values of x that will make this expression 0. So we now know where that parabola graph is placed. So if we are solving when are the values of x squared minus 2x minus 15 less than 0, when are the y values less than 0? That's between negative 3 and 5 for our x values. So anywhere from negative 3 up to 5 we have a value of x that makes x squared minus 2x minus 15 negative. However, we always have to check that the values of x that we're producing 
make sense in the practical situation that we're analysing. Now here we have a rectangle. In rectangle ABCD, we must have x being greater than 0, otherwise we wouldn't have a rectangle at all. And we also have to have x minus 2 being greater than 0, or we wouldn't have a rectangle at all. We have to have these side lengths being positive, at least. This second one's interesting, because if we add 2 to both sides of this, we get the condition that x must be greater than 2, otherwise this side BC will be non-existent. Now if we think of values of x greater than 2, and we also think of this restriction that all the values of x must lie between negative 3 and 5, then only this range of values of x will be the ones we're after. So, anything greater than 2, 2 has to be less than them, but the values cannot go beyond 5. If they go to 5 or beyond, then x squared minus 2x minus 15 becomes 0 or positive, and we're not allowed that. That's the area restriction. It wouldn't be less than 15. So there's our allowed range of values anywhere between 2 and 5. Now, you would be wise in a question like this just to make sure that you're um, sensible in your values. Pick 4, for instance. If that was 4, this would be 2. 2 fours are 8, or certainly less than 15. Now, if we pick 5, this would be 5, this would be 3, 3 fives are 15, we're too much. So we wouldn't be allowed the value of 5, and we certainly aren't. We've not got an equal sign in there check with 1, 1. If that was 1, this would be negative 1. That's not allowed. So we're OK. We wouldn't have been allowed 1 in the thing. So it's worthwhile checking a few values just to check that this actually does make sense in the situation we're analysing.